What's up my friends? Today we are starting to put together my bullet journal for April. So I have a lot of stuff out here and I wanted to use the new Winnie the Pooh sticker books from the Happy Planner. They're part of the spring release. If you're interested in seeing everything that I received as part of the spring release, click this unboxing video here. It'll show you everything that I received. And one of the things I was most excited about was the Winnie the Pooh line. There are three sticker books a Tigger one, and then two different sizes of Winnie the Pooh ones. And so I wanted to make that my theme for my bullet journal this month. I haven't used a bullet journal in a while until March. So let me just show you really quickly what that looks like so you can kind of expect what to see from this series of videos. I think it'll take too long to make in one time, so I'm thinking each page will be a separate video. But let's go ahead and take a look. All right, here are journal, bullet journal pages. And then this is my actual wellness bullet journal. So there's a cover and then a habit tracker. And it's the sixth currently. I haven't filled it out for the fifth yet. So it, uh, is getting filled out and will look lovely when it is all completed. And then sleep tracker, step tracker, and then highlight of my day. So that's what I'm creating here. But we'll probably just do the cover first. I have a little post-it note on each page to make sure I have enough pages of this fun yellow. And so I wrote down kind of what I'm thinking for each page on these little sticky notes. So for this page, I want to do a honeycomb look. And so first, I'm going to be writing the month out across it after that point. So let's go ahead and cover up where we'll write the words because we don't want that to get covered with ink. And I'm trying to think of how big I want the letters. Do I want it script or do I want it? Because if it's script, it can just be this size. But if I want it thick letters, I want it longer. Let's do script letters just because it saves a little space. <laughs> All right. So then just figuring out, do I want it exactly centered with the honeycomb or let's do it centered. So like that, and let's just make sure this is even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish. It's good enough. All right, so we're gonna be using so many things today with this. We are going to be using the stickers, of course. I have some Distress inks out. I have some markers, and I have some colored pencils. So, the markers are for the script. I'll have to pick which one to use. And then, oh, I also have some washi. And so this washi is super cute. Um, I got it from Coco Daisy in one of their subscription kits. And I think the bees would be perfect. So I think I'm gonna like take a bunch of this washi and cut it up and just take the bees. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> and then let's actually cover up this little section because I don't want to accidentally, you know, get that on the page. Okay, so the stencil I got off of Amazon, it's pretty fun. Let's not throw my desk de decor everywhere. Um, I'm going to start and just put the lightest shade of yellow down across all of this and then kind of uh, make these two colors go throughout in this nice little hopefully changing color scheme. Um, this is going to be really close to the edge so it's going to be really hard not to get ink there unless I just go like this. It'll make it a little easier on those spots. just so I don't have to be so exact with my um, little circles I'm doing right here. All 
I do love using distress inks and I used to just fill the page with them and that's a lot of fun, but that takes a lot of time to set everything up perfectly because you need a lot of tape to cover things up, but also to just uh, do it. It's a lot of page to cover. And this is a lot easier, I think. And it also looks really cool. All right, so as you can tell, today's cover theme for the Winnie the Pooh is kind of this honeycomb look. So we will be using some Winnie the Pooh stickers, but this honeycomb look is going to be the basis of it. All right. So we've got that co color down and I'm just going to get these colors across it. Let's start with the darker one because if this looks nice, I don't need to use the middle one, but if I need a little, you know, uh, shading and everything, I can add in the other one. I think this is going to be enough. It's just a, just a little bit of ink, you know. Okay. We will leave it at that. And this washi I pulled out because it matches perfectly, but I have no clue if I'm going to use it on this page or other pages. It's just here um, as... A potential <laughs> and we'll see if I use it but as I said in this video we're doing this page we're not doing the other pages so there may be stuff on here that I don't use like for instance these ones are tiny ones of these and um, I can use those for habit trackers but I won't be using them obviously on the cover. All right, so that looks pretty cool. We're just gonna keep this on until I'm done with this because I don't want to accidentally get ink in that covered up spot. So what I was thinking is to outline these really nicely with this, with the dark, and then kind of color in everything and make a humming comb and have honey drips like coming off because it's a honeycomb. So, you know, it'll kind of have these and I'll shade those in using that one as well. So I'm just going to start doing this and we're probably going to speed this up later because I'm guessing this will be the longest part of the video. But so basically, let me just show you what I'm going to do so you can see I'm outlining these. So I've got three outlined right now. And then what I want to do is just create this outer edge for the honeycomb because we're going to color all this in on this spread on the habit trackers we won't do this but i thought for the cover page it would look really fun to be an actual full honeycomb so i'm kind of just going to go like that and then in spaces pull this one in to be more yellow and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on that and then I'll come back to talking when I've got this all lined up and I'm ready to do more honey drips.
right, so that's where we're at right now. And I've gotten all of that shaded in. I'm just sharpening this up and we are going to make all of these drips of honey coming off the honeycomb. And then Pooh Bear will put in kind of like, there's one of them with the balloon, so he'll be floating up a little bit, you know, that kind of stuff, to try and get the honey. There might be a couple of him inside the honey with some of the clear stickers, so that could be pretty cute too. I'm gonna put a few honey drips coming down the page. Fix these ones. I feel like those could be a little better. All right, I'm just looking at this pattern. Let's get one more down here and one right up here. And I'm going to color all these in with yellow and then I might shade just the side of it with the kind of orangey color. But we'll take a look and see what this looks like and then decide. Yeah, let's shade just like this little thing just you can barely even tell but it just adds a little dimension to it but i'm doing it all from the same angle um so that it looks a little bit more natural and it's not much at all you may not be able to even tell really on the video <laughs> All right, so I think we're done with the colored pencils and the distress inks on this page. So let's take this off and see what we're working with for writing in the month. Awesome, that looks cool. So what I'd like to do to add a little bit of uh, I don't know what the word would be, um, just to define this a little more, is I am going to use this colored pencil and draw a nice thick line right here on the edge of the honeycomb on both sides. So like that, and I'll do it on the other side as well. And then we'll write in April. Just trying to make sure I line it up right with where the line is. Yeah, okay, that looks nice. All right, then let's just grab a little pencil real quick and kind of sketch out where April is going to go. I'm glad I did that because I want this R to be a little bit further like that. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that with a really good eraser. And then I'll only see the faint line and be able to copy that with my Tombow Dual Brush Pen. And I am wondering, I love using the brush pen part, but of course this is rather tiny. So I'm just going to see, I mean it's not even going to match up on colors real quick, but let's just draw a line like that and see how this works.
I think it'll work. Um, I'll just get the P over this line a little bit and that's okay. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. Usually what I do here is outline it in black, but I feel like with this spread, it's a little mark right there. Um, with this spread, I don't want to outline this in black because Pooh Bear is gonna be outlined in black and I wanna keep this really nice and simple. So I'm just gonna take this and highlight the, is this the right color? Yeah, highlight the down strokes just ever so slightly. And that's all I'm going to do for that text. All right, now I've got the bees that I need to cut out. So maybe let's get like, there are a few bees in the Winnie the Pooh sticker book, but not too many. Um, so I'd like to use those smaller bees, perhaps on the habit trackers because they're tinier and then use these guys here. So I'm just gonna put them like that because I need to fussy cut those bees out. And I am just wasting a bunch of washi here, but it's a big, it's a big roll of washi and I have plenty left for other things. Get rid of the extra washi and then I'm just going to you know, cut it out like this to get rid of as much of the little purple as I can. I won't get rid of some of the purple splotches just because it's too close to the wing, but that's okay. So there's one bee like going into the honey. We'll put another on the honey and then another somewhere else. If I'm choosing how many of something to put on, three is always a pretty good number because two just looks too even and sometimes four or five feels cluttered, but three feels really balanced to me a lot of the time. Okay, so this one's gonna be inside the honey. I'll just put it like right there. That looks pretty cool. And then because there's one above the words and one kind of next to the words, this guy is going to go down below near the honey drips. And then we'll figure out Winnie the Pooh. There are stickers of like Tigger and Eeyore and everyone, but I think this page is going to be just Winnie the Pooh. All right. That looks pretty fun. I love those bees on it. And let's go ahead, make some space and take a look at some stickers. So yeah, I think this washi I'll need for habit trackers and other things like that, but not right now. All right, so with this page, we are going to need just the clear stickers. So let's go ahead and find first the one that I wanted. Is it back here? Well, there's one with all of them, but I know one of the sticker books, here are some um, in gold. Do we have any in not gold. 
we'll have to check both sticker books. I don't think it would be on that one, on the Tigger one. Oh, so just so you know, the spring release is on March 16th. So if I post this and it's not quite March 16th yet, you can get these on March 16th. The link is in the description. It is an affiliate link. I really appreciate that you use that if you choose to shop because it helps me out at no extra cost to you. So there's Winnie the Pooh, there's Tinkerbell, and of course all the non-Disney sticker books and other items that are super cute as well. Okay, so I need to decide if I want to go gold or if I want to use the black and use these guys. I think black's going to look better just for photos and stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and use all of them on this one and then use more Winnie the Pooh based things on other ones. Is that too far out? Let's see. I might move it a little closer to the honeycombs. Yeah. And this one's a Pooh Bear with a honey pot, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it just, just down here at the bottom, like it's a little path here. And I was thinking this sticker could be on my sleep tracker page because they're napping and that's pretty cute. Alrighty, and then To do another poo sticker, let's go ahead and put this one like he's looking up. Okay, so this one's here, but I don't want to be too close to that. Do I go all the way over here or do I go right? I think just right here, like he's looking up at, at the honey. That's all Tigger. Okay, I'm thinking about adding one of these in, um, like over here, but let's just take a look at what else we've got real quick. But it's looking pretty fun. I feel like I need something up there too. So we are going to figure it out, but it definitely is super fun and exactly kind of what I'm hoping for. I just need some more stickers. Okay, these are just, I mean, this is the Tigger sticker book. It's all Tiggers. <laughs> okay. Maybe I do add a few of these smaller bees into the mix. Since I have them in both sticker books. So let's add one little bee up there with the little... Uh, lines <laughs> showing where it's gone and let's add in a couple of these little ones let's add one right there and then one down by poo I think that'll look really nice and then I do want to add poo bear kind of looking in from the side there I think that'll be cute where did that sticker go? Up here. There we go. Just like peeking in, I think that'll be really nice. Up here, down, down here's a good spot. All right, and now as I look at it, I feel like I need to outline 
April just because these are dark and I feel like it'll look better. So let's see, I'm grabbing some Micron pens. This one's the 01. Do I want to use 01 or 02? 05 is probably too small. So you can buy them in all sorts of different tips. And let's do the 02. I really like that size. Okay, I'm just going to outline that and then I think we're probably going to be done. And I'm not outlining the shading, like the little downstrokes that I did. I'm shading, or I'm outlining just the actual color that I chose for the um, text here, the orange one. All right, yeah. I think that looks better. Okay, so there we have it. There is the cover page for my bullet journal this month. It's a wellness bullet journal, so it'll have a bunch of other pages with different themes. Uh, mini habit trackers that are honeycombs, or there I usually have about six habits, so that'll take up the page nicely. A mood tracker, which I wanted to use Tigger for, to use the Tigger sticker book. A sleep tracker, which I'll use the Winnie and Piglet nap sticker. Then a step tracker, which I thought would be fun to use Rue and Kanga to use up the different styles of stickers in the sticker book. And then this highlight page, I'll have everyone on it. Try to include all the different friends from the Hundred Acre Woods onto this page. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do each of those pages. But I mean, this one without speeding up all the coloring. I'm at 36 minutes for making this video. So each one will definitely be their own separate video this month. So I'll add them all into a playlist. So this one obviously will come out first, but you'll see the others added to that playlist as I publish them. So make sure you're subscribed to see that or tag that playlist bookmark it or something if you want to see the rest of the spreads. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.